the world is changing very rapidly. Uh, there is disruption in every industry. And what we have is that 70, over 70% 70 of transformation are not working. There was a study done that shows that nearly $900 billion were lost in digital transformation just last year. And we also know that 85% of people are not engaged at work. They're either disengaged or completely checked out. So there's more and more in this world, what we're finding is that transformation is equal to execution. So every CEO that I talk to, what they say is that we are transforming all the time and that's synonymous with execution and implementation. The biggest barriers to transformation is that lack of engagement of people. And what we need to do is we need to have the armies of insiders engaged from what I call the inside out. That means connect what they're committed to at the visceral level to what the future of the organization is, which I call North Star. So we need to really empower large number of people within the organization to not just be engaged, but also be author of change, author of the future. And it's amazing when they do that, how much success transformation could have. Another challenge with transformation is over-reliance of outsiders to come in and change the organization. Instead of armies of outsiders, we need to focus on armies of insiders. Another challenge with transformation is it's oftentimes it's done very slow. And by the time the transformation is done, the ecosystem has gone through two or three disruption. So we have to be fast, we have to engage a large number of people. We need to understand that at the end of the day, transformation is personal. That is, as leaders, leaders need to go through their own personal transformation. And oftentimes, leaders do not know about their blind side, how they actually impact the culture. So it always starts with leaders, leaders understanding what it takes to go through their own personal transformation, which is a topic of my book called Inside Out Effect. And then we need to get everybody else commitment and their inside and the beauty of their inside connected to the commitment of the entire organization. And if you do that, there is no limit of what we can do. At the same time, you need to also do the outside in. That means for people to really understand the ecosystem. When we do surveys, of people within the organization, if they understand the ecosystem changes, they really don't, if you will. So if you combine the outside in to the inside out, there is no limit on the potential of the transformation success. So uh, earlier, I did a book on rapid transformation. And basically what this book is, is was written in 2007, and it's based on the fact that if you want to transform a large hierarchical organization, you need to make sure you create a different operating system, and within this operating system, create a new culture, very flat, agile, fast moving, and have these people kind of author the future of the organization. Often you get 10, 20, 30% of people engaged in this new operating system, and then fold it back to transform the organization. In 2014, uh, Professor John Cotter, in his book in Accelerating Change, basically confirmed that this is the only way you can actually have fast transformation and accelerating change and so forth. So it is really about creating a new operating system and bringing armies of people so that not only you have inside out effect, but you also have create a movement within the organization to make sure the transformation is successful.